Deadpool thing was absolutely brilliant. I, I would, I'm looking forward to coming out on Disney Plus because I'm so watching it again. <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, I found this one. So this video is, uh, watch this before building your first lightsaber. Seriously, how to build a lightsaber part two. So uh, I'm interested to see what another, I'm, I'm guessing he's a sabersmith. Uh, so I'm guessing I'm looking forward to seeing what another Sabersmith does uh, in their builds. If you're thinking about building your own custom lightsaber and you're not sure where to start, make sure to watch this video before you do How did I start? Else, because there are... How did I start? Well, I made uh, my very first lightsaber. It was a string of LEDs on a battery box. And I got some chrome PVC, made a lightsaber handle, put the box in it, run the LEDs up a... Uh, acrylic tube with a diffuser in it uh, and an acrylic top dome which I made by hand uh, by carving it down and then after that I went on to an, uh, another form which still had LEDs running through it but they were pretty crap they were really bad uh, and then I decided that I was going to do lightsabers only uh, and that's where I started looking into it so I went online and I googled um, LEDs went through uh, loads of different for not forums but loads of different websites Try to find the brightest LEDs, um, going on U uh, eBay, looking at different LED specs, l learning how to read specs of LEDs. So did all that, got it, got the resistors, tested it, tried it, worked, made my own blades. So I had to learn how to do that, uh, learn how to, uh, you know, I started designing handles and building handles. And it just went from there uh, as... At, when I first started, there was only Saber Forge and Ultra Saber, there was no one else. Um, and uh, I just progressed from models without sound. Soundboards started becoming available. So the, the only soundboard really was a Pico Crumble. Um, and then he went from the Pico Crumble and he advanced. Uh, so I was able to get ones with sound. I got uh, oh, I a, a soundboard from America. I can't remember what it's called, but it did sound with one LED. So moved on to that, did that one, um, and then LGT came out. I was able to start doing other things, you know, Golden Harvest. I got some of those, but they were horrible boards, uh, and they kept changing them. Um, so I went back to the old boards, uh, and I just went from there. And as, as in the last year or two, uh, it's a case of LGT's got bigger, could buy their boards and start using their boards. So uh, yeah, that's basically how I started three very important things you need to know first. Hello there and welcome. This is Star Wars in Real Life, where we fill our lives with Star Wars instead of actually important things like deciding whether to cook or to order out yet again. This video is part of a series of videos designed to help Star Wars fans build their very first lightsabers. If you ever wanted to I don't build know if this guy's a lightsaber, but then you tried Googling it, you saw all the work involved, and then decided, uh, yeah, maybe next year. <laughs> then subscribe to this you channel. Did that. Check out um no i didn't I, I didn't build how to build a lightsaber because there was nothing online about it there, there, there literally was nothing online about how to build a lightsaber i did buy some of the cheap lightsabers with sound uh and lighting on it that extent that, no they didn't extend but they were cheap ones like 40 quid and i took them apart to look at the internals to get an idea so i just taught myself from there but there was nothing online about how to build a lightsaber this is 10 years ago when I started doing it, so. I got the rest of my lightsaber building videos <clears> in this <throat> playlist right up here. And I had to teach everything. I had to my learn it all Academy from here, scratch. But really in-depth lightsaber building videos. All right, so where do you even begin when building a lightsaber? Obviously, you're going to need parts, supplies, tools, manuals, right? But wait, you can't just Google brightest LEDs, best soundboard, or loudest speakers, but... You can, that's exactly what I did. You don't necessarily need to do that now. Now you could just go and get pre-made chassis appointment and almost only handle. But that's ex this is a, what you said you can't do is exactly what I did. I did that exactly. Buy those things and expect them to work. Hell, JQ Sabres made their own Tri-Cree LEDs. So they bought the PCB, bought the LEDs just as an LED and actually made put the LEDs in place on the board and actually made his own uh, Tri-Cree LEDs. This is 10 years ago. This is before mass-produced things were around. So completely different back then. 
It doesn't work like that. There are lots of things to consider here. Number one, it does work. You could get any LED and you could put it on any board. You just need to work out the uh, wattage and voltage for it and then it'll work. I, I don't really agree with what he's saying here. One, you need to know what you're going to use your lightsaber for because that answer will determine what yeah, you need to I put onto your shopping list. So Get it. I made it to be as bright so when I first started thinking about Julie. building my own lightsaber, I thought to myself, yeah, I'm just going to go and build the strongest, brightest, loudest, most realistic lightsaber in the world, and it's going to run for days and days on a single charge. It's never going to break. It's going to change colors. I think that mine lasted about stories. two to three hours. It's going to do my taxes for me. The now, Neopixels. Unfortunately, it's way more complicated than that. Okay, let's say you're shopping for a bicycle. What are you planning to do with your bicycle? Are you going to go mountain biking? Okay, no. great. You're going to need those super thick all-terrain tires with lots of gears really good brakes right if you're into bmx you're gonna want a smaller lighter frame with pegs or whatever <laughs> if you're racing the tour de france you're gonna want the super skinny tires with the frames that weigh four and a half ounces and also lots and lots of steroids right it's kind of the same thing with the lightsabers minus the steroids there are trade-offs involved depending on what you're going to use it for and generally there are three different ways people tend to use their lightsabers and they are for display for dueling yep. and cosplay so yep, if you're just going to display that. it on a shelf in a glass display case or something then all you really need is the hilt and you should probably go yep. for building the most realistic looking hilt that you can you can use all different sorts of materials like plastic metal leather wood, wood even you can paint and weather it as you see fit and you don't have to worry about anything breaking or fading out from excessive wear and tear since it's just going to live its life in box if you're going to duel with it that's a yeah. whole different story beautiful realistic looking elaborate metal hilts aren't comfortable to hold and they can even Mine be fine painful for to hold with, uh, when you're felt fine. With it. not to mention heavy I now, made sure you're going to want something basic soft. looking with smooth handles and edges less parts and electronics something that's light and agile and your blade needs to be strong enough to withstand being hit over and over again which means it can't have a bunch of fragile leds inside of it and if you're going to be using it for cost uh you can use uh, a near pixel blade for lightsaber dueling i wouldn't because if you've got 288 leds in a blade that's 288 if things that could go wrong when you smash them together with another blade uh so i'd recommend using an rgb blade um with a heavy duty blade inside just you know makes all sense play then you probably want to prioritize design function brightness and sound this is the category um i don't know about that if you're wanting if you want to lightsaber like, for cosplay um then just get a day blade so it doesn't matter what time of day it is if you want red blue green if you've got a day blade then people know exactly what color blade it is it looks like it's turned on it's fine it's cool you can't see a lightsaber blade in direct daylight it's impossible it's so it's not powerful enough to be seen so yeah just pick your favorite handle stick a day blade in it and you're good to go for a cosplay so turn it on does the sound Category that I think most people fall under, even if they don't really know it. But it's also the most complicated because you're gonna need LEDs, speakers, soundboards, batteries, and a bunch of other stuff. This is yeah, you do need all those things. That's a soundboard for make your own chip that I used to use for my soundboards. Um, <clears throat> but you don't you don't need it. Does, it's not complicated at all. You wire in the switch, you wire in the speaker, you wire in the LEDs, and you wire in the battery, and that's it. You wire on a charging port. You know, when uh, when I had that set up, it was just like this. But I had my battery going into a charging um, uh, a charging board, and the charging board then went into the soundboard, so you could charge my lightsabers up. Whereas the board at the time wouldn't allow you to do that. But it's not complicated; it's fairly straightforward. And again, you know, you're just a normal lightsaber put day blade in. This is also where things get really complicated because only some soundboards do the exact things you want. Some LEDs only work with certain soundboards, certain speakers only fit in specifically sized hilts, and so on. That um, I don't know why he's saying. I mean, this video is three years old, so let's give him a bit of um, uh, a bit of leeway here because things have changed quite a lot. But now you could pretty much use any LEDs. You know, if you know what you're doing, you could use any LED with any board. You know, they, you, you can do anything you want. It's, as long as you've got the knowledge and you know how to do it, you can do anything you want. That's So I don't think that really applies anymore.
That leads me to the next thing. Number two, do you even want to build a lightsaber? All those things I just mentioned, it's a lot of work. There are a bunch of lightsaber manufacturers and You can build a lightsaber in a shed. Sell With some basic tools, yeah. Maybe the exact lightsaber that you want already exists. And I'm actually going to be making a video specifically for this, where I review and I identify the top lightsaber companies in the world right now. And you can find that video this right was three years here ago. as soon as that's available. I won't be on now, the list. I, was, I never made you on 20 list. That building your own lightsaber is an essential why. part of becoming a Jedi. But before you go off and start buying all those cool looking hilts and LEDs and soundboards, just wait. Watch this video for a few minutes and then decide on your path. Number three, the third thing you need to know before building your lightsaber is what exactly you want your lightsaber Most lightsabers to do. do everything do now, so again, I don't think it's really applies. If it's expanding and retracting whenever you turn it on, instead of just flicking it on like a flashlight, then you're gonna need LEDs inside of your blade. And if you want the That's brightest true. LEDs, you're gonna want NeoPixel LEDs. And more importantly, a sound... Um, so I, I just want to clarify here. There's no such thing, as fault, so you don't get confused. There's no such thing as a NeoPixel LED. Um, what that picture is showing is a board, circular board with 50-50 RGB LEDs on them. So each one of those is one 50-50 RGB LED. The reason why it's called a 50-50 RGB LED is because each side is five millimeters in length. So that's why it's five, um, that's why it's a 50-50. So five millimeters, five millimeters. Uh, that equates the size of the LED chip, and then it's just RGB, red, uh, red, green, blue. So, but there's no such thing as a NeoPixel LED specifically. It's just a 50-50 RGB, and you see them on everything. Soundboard that supports NeoPixels. That alone rules out a ton of soundboards. If you want your lightsaber to hum differently whenever your lightsaber moves, even just a little bit. That's a feature called Smooth Swing, and there are literally only a handful of soundboards on the planet that support that feature. Oh. Um, again, this was three years ago. Um, a lot's changed. Virtually every soundboard now has Smooth Swing. Uh, I mean, hell, we've now got soundboards that have Smooth Swing, Soft Swing, and Hard Swing. Um, so, But again, this is three years ago, so you know we have to account for the difference in time. And you need to be able to safely fit all those components in your lightsaber hilt. For example, my Ezra staple gun lightsaber cannot fit tri Cree LEDs in the blaster opening, which was. You could do. All, and I had the same thing because I use these for my RGBs with the uh, Pico Crumble. You just cut off all these bits on the side, uh, sand it down so it's nice and round and it fits in the hole, and that's it. You just run the wires from here through the center hole. That's what the center hole's for. So you can, you can do it, it's not a problem. It was super disappointing for me when I found out. Also, it can only fit speakers that are less than like 23 millimeters in diameter or something like that. So depending well, on your lightsaber, housing. certain components could be completely just out of the question for you. And with so many different components, you'll need a chassis to safely hold them all inside of your hilt. Otherwise, they could short circuit if they come into contact with each other or into contact with the inner walls of your hilt. But uh that's not uh, exactly true um the uh in regards to chassis you don't need a chassis at all uh it makes it look better it's neater for wiring and in a way <clears throat> but um as long as you've soldered your wires and the sheath around the wire is fully up to the board there should never be any uh, cross connection with any wires and then all you need to do is just get some uh, PVC heat, or heat shrink uh, and just put that around the soundboard and heat shrink it into place so then the soundboard won't make contact with anything because of the, the plastic cover and that's all you need you sort it then so yeah so it's not not entirely true you don't need chassis if no one has designed a chassis specifically for your hilt, then you can't even do anything that we're talking about. It's a lot think to think people, about. There's people out there that make, do that now. Up, first, you need to decide what you want your lightsaber for. Then you should look online to see if your lightsaber that you want already exists. If it does, then you should consider buying it. If not... Watch this before building your first lightsaber, seriously. Okay, I suppose it's a recommendation what to look out for and that sort of thing. So, yeah, fair enough. Um... I, the only 
thing I would add to that that number two, should you buy your lightsaber, if you can, if you've looked online, you found a lightsaber that you want, uh, don't just go with the first buyer. Look around. There's that many sellers of lightsabers now online. Uh, there's a, a very, very high chance you could actually find the exact same model from the exact same manufacturer uh, being sold at a lot lower price or a lot different price. Um, basically, there's two huge companies in China that just basically supply every single online seller with their lightsabers. So virtually every single lightsaber online has come from one of the two factories. So if you're just eager maybe to build your own lightsaber like i am then you've got to decide what you want your lightsaber to do only then will you know exactly what parts materials tools etc you need to buy once you've got your shopping out of the way we'll go over how to put it all together in a future video in other news I've okay right cool so yeah i mean it's not a bad video uh it's a little old i'll be honest it's not the um it's not the most up to date uh, this came out it says it came out three years ago so um yeah i mean i i don't think he's completely off the mark but even three years ago i would have actually disagreed with a lot of things that he said on there because i actually had to do a lot of things that he said you can't do so not entirely sure on that one but yeah um I mean, if anybody wants me to tell, talk about more about like those and how I made them, I can do, but I don't see, don't see it be very interesting. So yeah.